Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to get a unique list from a table and bring it in where I can put it into a drop-down list. Right? So I have my table here. We have some repeating items like item 3 and item 5. We want to bring it into another table where we just take the unique items out of that and it'll help populate this selection item. So this is a, a count function here. So I, maybe I want to count how many item 5's are there. You can see there's four of them. If I look at item 5 here, select that right click, right click and go under filter, select the cells value, you see there's five of them there. Let's clear this. Or if we want to see how many item 10's there are, looks like there's five or four. Let's go and check that out. How many item 10's are there? Click on that, there's five item 10's. So this is using a data validation feature and to bring this into the table here, I'm gonna use something called Power Query. Now this is Excel 2016. Excel 2016 has Power Query already built in in the data tab. You can see it's in the Get and Transform group. If you have previous versions of Excel like 2013 and 2010, you're gonna probably have to go to Microsoft.com and download it and install it to enable it. But since this is 2016, let's see how this is done. I've selected this here. Let's actually, let me select this again, Control A and then Control C to copy. I'm gonna copy it onto another sheet to start fresh. Here I am in a new sheet here, home. We're gonna paste just the values, so we're starting fresh. I wanna turn this into a table. Oops, looks like it didn't copy the headers. I'll just insert that, right click, insert. This will be item, and this will be quantity. So what, as I mentioned before, what I wanna do is use the Power Query feature. I can turn this into a table with the Power Query feature already. You go into data and select from table. What it's going to do is it's going to recognize this range of data and want to create a table. And my table does have headers, the first row are header fields. Click OK and it's going to bring up the Power Query Editor. So what the Power Query Editor does, it enables me to do some transformation. I don't need this quantity field so I'll just click it and right click and select remove and here I want to have unique values so I'll just right click and go to remove duplicates. It'll have unique values. Let's also sort it. I'll click on the drop down and click sort ascending. So you see that when it sorts it, since these are strings, item 10 is going to come right after item 1. But that's okay. This is just for the purpose of bringing in these particular values as a unique value. So since we have our unique values, I'll click close and load. And by default, it works it into a new worksheet, but let's bring it into our sheet one. And I'm going to right click here, click select load to, and let's bring it back to the existing worksheet. What I probably need to do right now is just make it load as a connection only, click load, and it kind of disappears from this worksheet. And I'll just have it reload into sheet one here. So now it's connection only. Let's make this load into a worksheet. Click right click, click load to, and Let's select table, we're gonna put it over here. Existing worksheet, select this area. Let's go to E. Click OK, and now and now click load. Let's see if it takes care of that, yep. So now I have item, our unique list here. And what I wanna do now is I can type, let's make our header for our dropdown list, item, and then we'll do the same thing we had where we're counting. So now we want to have a drop down here. So the drop down is a data validation feature. So I'll go under data and under data validation, we're going to select list. So we're going to allow a list and our source is going to be E2 to E13. Click OK. And now we have our drop down. So I have my items 1, 10, and 2. Let me put my formula here. Let's select one. Let's try to select item one. And for our count, we'll make the count functions count count ifs. Click that. So our range here is we can select from A2 all the way down to A30. But since this is a table, you notice that when I selected this table range here, it gave me this particular value, this argument, instead of saying A2 to uh, A. 30, it gave me this table and then in brackets item. So this is the nice thing in a way about tables is it tells you the table name. This table has a default name called table one. You can also change the name later on. 
and it's going to look at the item column, right? So it's, as the table grows or shrinks, it's always going to be able to adjust for the values there. And that's kind of the nice thing about table feature. Now that's my range, my criteria, comma, is going to be cell, this cell. Press enter, and it's gonna count two, two of item one. So if I select item one, right click and go to filter, item one, there's two. Let's say, let's clear this filter here. And if we go to item five again, it's gonna give us back that number. I think that was four, yep. So we have five, right click, and we'll see that in item five, there are five entries there. All right, so that's how it's done. So as I mentioned before, tables are kind of unique. You can see here, whenever I click on the table, you see that there's these table tools contextual menu, and you can go ahead and rename your table here. The same for this one. This is Power Query actually created a table for this too. And so even though this is a table, where you can rename it, it's table one underscore two. This is also a part of the query feature. Now, the nice thing about this is if we change something here, let's change this to item, make it something crazy, item ZZZ, right? And there's only one item of ZZZ. If I go to data and click on refresh, now you notice it shows up here. And not only does it show up here because of the power query, it shows up here because this is referencing this range and it adjusts, right? So I can select that and it tells me that there's a count of one there. So that's a nice thing about using tables and Power Query. So that's how you can create a unique list out of a table and use it for a drop down if you've got any other formulas that you want to use for this particular scenario. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.